In the last video we looked at Greenlight Hitch and Tow Series 7 4 vehicle set and continuing on the Greenlight August September 2016 video series today we're looking at HD heavy duty trucks Series 6 as well as an exclusive Breaking Bad delivery van. Still to come we've got Hollywood Series 14 a 6 vehicle set V-Dub Club Series 3, another 6 vehicle set. The brand new Blue Collar Collection Series 1, another 6 vehicle set. And two exclusives. Almost all of these vehicles will be opened up. Released late August 2016, we've got the Heavy Duty Series of Trucks Series 6. This is a very popular series released by Greenlight about two years ago. They've been following up with a selection of international Juristar trucks and Fleetwood campers of varying generations. In addition to this, there was a release from the exclusives line of this 2013 international Juristar Breaking Bad edition with the very familiar Los Polos Hermanos restaurant van. If you watch Breaking Bad, you'll know what I'm talking about. Interestingly, and very cool, this Heavy Duty Trucks series includes another Gulf Oil sponsored flatbed with a figure and gas pump on the back, which matches the recently released Ford F-150 and cargo trailer. In addition to opening up all four of these new trucks and RVs in my collection, we're going to compare the new vehicles released with some of the older models released by Greenlight both in the HD trucks as well as the exclusive series and any differences between them. Here we've got several Fleetwood Bounders from 1986 which we can compare nicely against the 2016 model that is new and against several other paint schemes that have come out for these awesome heavy-duty 164 scale vehicles. Before we open up our heavy-duty Series 6, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Another generic release by Greenlight. It has the three vehicles in the series. These are always three vehicle uh, releases that you can see pictured on the back rather than listed. Two of the vehicles have this standard red packaging that we've seen over the years from the Heavy Duty Truck Series. With the one exception being now the Route 66 USA packaging, which does not feature the pictures or a listing of the vehicles in the set. However, if you were to buy these straight from Greenlight, they are all packaged together as a set of three. Tying into Hitch and Toe Series 7 with the Golf Tampo truck, we've got the Golf International Juristar flatbed. Let's get that one out of the package now and put these beauties side by side. The packaging is really cool, but the best way to see these vehicles is out of the packaging, in my opinion. Few little doodads and extras are always nice to have. We'll take a close look at all that in just a second. It appears I may have knocked the light bar off of the truck during opening. Apologies for that. It should have had a chrome or the gold light bar up on the roof there, just like that. A little bit of glue will fix that up, no problem. And one more reason to be really careful when you're opening up your green lights, as these are not toys, these are collectibles, uh, if used as toys or handled a little too roughly, you are bound to have parts go flying off in every direction. But check out the details on this truck, and I'll just let the pictures do the talking for this part. We've got the international symbol on the front, the uh, chrome storage compartments below the deck, True dualies roll quite nicely. And then you've got the little figurine, golf employee type thing going on there. 
Not sure we can see that. There he is. Quite a detailed little figure. He's even got the the logo right on his front uh, jacket. As well as the collectible little gas pump. Let's see what's on there. This sale, I can't even read it. It's so small. But those are nice little extras to have for your golf setup. And we've seen this golf tampo not only from Greenlight but from Hot Wheels in a collectible market. So you can really have quite the nice setup with all this equipment and matching tampos and paint jobs as they do have. There you go. I think it would look better with the golf racing car on the back, but just goes to show you this is a very capable flatbed that can carry more than just a race car. You can carry a whole bunch of things. And there's the two together. Pretty much can't buy one without the other in my opinion. The next vehicle in this series we're going to look at is the Shell International Juristar box truck. This is a heavy, heavy piece and we're going to crack it out of its packaging right now. There we go. Carefully removing it. Amazingly, Greenlight made the entire box out of metal. This is not a plastic box that you would see on most models at this price range. Keep in mind that these are really only around, I think, eight or ten dollars American. So for the price point, a lot of awesome quality. The only plastic part on it is this long chassis piece. It's got true dualies. We're seeing a production number in the low 3000s on this one. And uh, very, very well appointed. Nice decals. All the rivets painted on it. The opening doors on the back. Big enough that you could probably get, uh, you know, some cars in the back of it. I'm having trouble keeping both doors open. But not only that, check out the detail that Greenlight put on the inside of this truck. We've got painted, appropriately painted wood paneling on the sides with these steel girders vertically. And if you've seen the inside of a delivery van, this is exactly what it, lo it looks like. It's got like a beige wood floor. And then on the back, perfectly closing doors, all the hinges and latches painted, all the lights. Just a really extremely nice model. And they roll really good too. The third model in this series, of course, is the Fleetwood Bounder 2016 model. This is a massive, heavy, all die cast piece. It's got a bit of a road map on the back of the packaging. And it's only been released in four other, or sorry, three other colors and paint schemes, which we'll compare in a moment. But first, let's get this awesome beast out of the packaging. There we go. What an incredible unit. Check out the windshield on this thing. It's got mirrors, actual handles on the sides of it, rooftop air conditioners, antennas, the vents are even up there. Amazing, amazing details they put into these things. Bounder. It's even got uh, the awning all rolled up. Now that does not unroll, of course. But still, really nice detail that they put it on there. Big chrome rims, dually tires on the back. It even shows all the compartments, storage compartments, the holding tanks. Very, very authentic and detailed all the way around. Assembled with two Starhead Phillips screws. This one is number 1133. 
and it has a highly detailed interior seeing we're seeing some reflection of the camera that I'm filming with but no detail spared on this unit this is a massive massive vehicle true 164 scale and let's just compare it to my Hot Wheel so there's that 1964 Chevy Impala that we saw in the Hitch and Toe video Hitch and Toe Series 7 just goes to show you the scale is perfectly appropriate this is exactly about how big this truck would be and of course there's the other trucks as well in relative scale looks just about right now before we get into comparing different green light bounders which we will do at the end of this video we must first look at this exclusive Breaking Bad International Duristar. Let's get that one opened up and out of the package. On the back, we've got a iconic picture that is very reminiscent of the show with the actual 1986 Fleetwood Bounder out in the field where they had their mobile meth lab. And that is this vehicle right here. As you can see, a perfect duplicate replica, I should say right down to Jesse's green shirt hanging off of the front mirror. And here it is, out of the package. I normally don't open exclusives, especially when I only have one of them. But these packages do take up a lot of space and with the number of vehicles I'm buying, I don't have the room in my house to show them all with their plastic. Not to mention, they are so much more fun to get them out and experience all the details. There again is the opening back that we see on these International Geostar uh, box vans. Very detailed inside. The logo on the back. One door has to shut before the other. Just take that sticker off. Just as in real life, you can't just shut these doors willy-nilly. There you go. You've got the hilarious uh, decal or logo on the back as well as on the sides. Food Distributors Inc. Again, that logo is on the doors, the front doors. But the difference with this truck being a food storage truck is that Greenlight has lovingly and authentically put on the refrigeration unit on the front, which we have not seen on this model before. The box the box truck has been released numerous times with different tampos and decals throughout the heavy duty release series but never with the air conditioner on the front so that's a very welcome addition especially in light of it being a food carrying truck versus say uh, oil carrying truck which does not need to be refrigerated let's see what the production number is on this thing we're seeing in the high 2000s, approaching 2800. Not sure of total production value or even where to get this one. I ordered mine uh, online, of course, just like most of my green lights. And now let's get into a RV Fleetwood Bounder comparison to finish off this video. And here again, we'll take one last look. Starting with the shell truck, this is the three vehicle series from release six. That awesome bounder. Here are three of the 2016 Fleetwood bounders that I have in my collection. There is one that's missing that's very similar in tampa work and coloration to the center one, which was released, I believe, in the last heavy duty release, so maybe series five. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'd have to go back and check for sure. Regardless, a nice assortment of vehicles, very similar in Tampa work, with the exception of the Black Bandit release of the 2016 Fleetwood Bounder, which features ghost tampos on the side, as I call it. You can see it's kind of like a matte black over a gloss black finish. All these vehicles are constructed exactly the same with the same details, just different paint jobs and tampa work. 
and as with all green lights they seem to roll very well very heavy smooth moving machines and while we're talking about Fleetwood Bounders let's go back to 1986 and just do a quick comparison starting with this Black Bandit release which was released at the same time as the 2016 edition of the Bounder this one features pretty much all the details of the Route 66 release of the Fleetwood Bounder also from my heavy duty trucks release does not say on the packages of of these uh, Route 66 type vehicles which series it was but it was within the last couple years and I think this one was uh, series 4 or 3 one or the other here's the Breaking Bad edition this was also released in the heavy duty trucks you had your option really to get the Route 66 in fact actually that one might have been exclusive it could have been this one that was in the heavy duty trucks one way or another they were all fairly commonly available and not all that long ago just like the delivery truck it has the same scheme, uh, image scheme on the back with the actual Fleetwood Bounder off in the field and the only difference between the Breaking Bad release and the Route 66 release was the green t-shirt hanging off of the the mirror as you can see it's not on that one and the iconic bullet holes I'm not sure which side they were on Have a closer look at this I think there was bullet holes on the side of the Fleetwood Bounder that was from Breaking Bad however I'm having trouble seeing them right now at any rate maybe there wasn't bullet holes I thought there was bullet holes well, a cool collection from Greenlight. If you're after these, happy hunting. Stay tuned for the next video in the series, which will be Hollywood Series 14.